hello guys and welcome to this new video and in this video we are looking at the resurrection rom build 7.0 which is uh, by version 5.5.9 for the zenfone 5 now this is very stable it's very good and if you're looking for a lollipop rom this might be the one that you want to remain stick stuck with okay gps still stutters but besides that everything works so the first thing that you'll see after installing this rom is that you get a storage running out error and stuff so all you need to do is flash and expose flash the expose module and the link for all of that will be down in the description below so you can just flash it like any other zip file you just need to go into twrp and flash the zip file and then install the apk so the links for all of that will be down in the description below and you can just go ahead and install it so as soon as you install the exposed uh, framework you'll see all the storage issues go away and from there it's pretty stable I did run YouTube and YouTube videos and there was no audio and video lag. There was no battery drain at all. So I tried to use this ROM for a while now and I tried to use it as, in as normal way as possible. So, you know, whatever you would use for daily usage, like, you know, the cell was in standby for a long time. If you would see there, it's around one day and nine up minutes. There was some short bursts of charging. Okay, I charged the phone a bit overall outside with my portable charger so that's the charging points as you can see so those are the awake times that i have been using the phone for there was a lot of browsing there was media streaming from uh, the internet and there was a lot of phone usage i this is not my main phone so i did not test any texting so besides that i have got a pretty good screen on time as you can see it's four hours and 58 minutes with still 53% of battery, 51% of battery left. So that is a pretty good battery life. Of course, you have to consider that I did charge the phone in between for a few minutes. So you can take up the screen on time to be around 3.5 to 3.85 hours. So instead of five hours, because there was some short bursts of charging. So that's very good battery life. It's even better than the stock lollipop, to be honest. And you get all the other usual things that you used to get with RR ROM. There is double tap to wake, double tap to sleep and stuff like that. Of course you get the gestures menu but the gesture still doesn't work as the developer said and I did test it out and it doesn't work at all. So hopefully that will be coming out in a new build and besides that you also get the users option and the GPS does work. It's not that it doesn't work at all. It does work, but it stutters. The location would be wrong most of the time. So if you want to use GPS, I would recommend that you stick to the stock ROM and not come over to this ROM. But besides that, this is a very good ROM. I'll just try to show up CPU spy and uh, the usage. So as you can see, it's 400 megahertz for seven minutes and it's deep sleeping for around three hours and 12 minutes. Now you also have to remember that this kernel is modified and it's underclocked and overclocked. So it's underclocked to 400 megahertz and it's overclocked to 1600 megahertz as you can see. And I have the 1.2 gigahertz model to be honest. So it's both underclocked and overclocked. It's overclocked to get a maximum performance when you are using the phone for heavy usage like you know running 3d games and 400 megahertz for when you're using the phone for light usage mainly to preserve battery so that's pretty much it from this video you get everything that you would expect from the rom you get a few asus apps some of which i have already removed and some other apps that you know that increase the functionality like the 3c toolbox pro and of course the kernel auditor so thank you guys for watching this video. I have a lot of new stuff coming up. So if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below this video. It does help the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.